Hello YouTube, and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial. So, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to carry on with our AI system, just add some more cool features, and hopefully it should all work really good. So, at the current moment, we made it last tutorial, so when we kill them, they actually die now, and not just sit there, weirdly. So, if we shoot this person, or my clone, several times, you'll see that they die, and they keep going. So, we get an error as well, but we can fix that in a minute. So if we just double click on this female, you'll see that they are floating. If we turn gravity on and we click play, nothing happens. We turn kinetic on and they spin. So basically they've got some kind of force pushing them and we need to change that. So as you can see, everything's different now. So the fire's completely going the opposite way. And it's got many of them. So the fire's dead and the person's gone the other way. So we need to change it because that's a weird well, a bad thing. So what we're going to do is go to our civilian land enemy AI and we're going to open it up. We're going to find, as soon as it says, um, if enemy health. So I'm going to type enemy in fact. So I scroll down and you can see destroy dead character after range. So it starts to enter the health if it's less than one, then it needs to kill them. So this will destroy the character when they when the player is out of range of them. We know what that is. So just above here, I'm going to come and type rigid body dot velocity equals vector 3.0 so all that does is turn all forces to zero so it shouldn't move so if it equals zero or anything like 0 0.5 i don't know if it should or not but then it should be quiet hopefully so we go back and we see we have an error so let's have a look at the error on line 126 here you'll see that it cannot find what timer 2 is and that'll be simply because of the Inspector, it always is. Come on, look at it. We type three, and I would reset it, but we've got the waypoints, which is kind of annoying. So I'll just reset it, attach everything, and then we should be done. So I've added all the waypoints back on. You can see here I've added a couple, six, or I think it's six, yeah, six. And I've reset the timer. You will have to reset it to civilian one nail as well, and every single one you do, but we're only working with one at the moment. So we now, when we kill them, they should just drop dead on the floor and they shouldn't bounce away. So we kill them and as you can see she decided I must have gave her a different waypoint. Don't win that water because we'll not see you die. And you'll see there is still something pushing her. So obviously a force of some kind. So with a quick analysis of it and looking through we get another error, 127, which should be the same error, so don't worry about that, that's just we fixed it, it should work. But on here, the reason it's crashing is, be well not crashing, is because when, when we turn the gravity on on this one, the whole body parts have still got it. So if we double click, you can see all these separate green things, um, colliders, they all have their own rigid body. So we need to tell each one to basically use gravity, and that should work. So what we're going to do back in here, is we're going to scroll down to our check death function, and this is where on our on trigger enter it calls check death every time we get we hit them to see if they're dead and then it, when it case randomizes to number three or two if you're starting at zero then it'll turn everything kinetic so it's not and then it's not a trigger so we're going to duplicate the top line and we're going to say use gravity equals true and then this should force them down to the floor pretty much straight away but what we can also do is type rigid body dot use gravity gravity equals false true I apologize and then what that should do is when it comes up here it should constantly be saying don't move don't move don't move don't move so it'll be stuck and then it'll come down to check death and say here um, you use gravity no matter what so every single body part uses gravity except it doesn't use kinetic so we're gonna put that there rigid body perfect so we can go and try it again so what we do is we shoot her and die, 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 die. And you'll see that when I get her and she doesn't stop being silly, she'll fall, but then she'll randomly rotate for a bit. And it depends where you shoot her, obviously. But what that is, is actually the colliders hitting each other. And I'm actually going to keep it in. I'll show you how to fix it, obviously. But as you can see, she's slowly moving, which is we will have to fix eventually. But what that is, is it's all the colliders hitting each other. So every time this box collider, so if we double click it, all of these are colliding with the main one here. It's all colliding with that one. So it's hitting it and making it bump around. If you want to stop it, all you do is disable it. And it stops. 
So I'll show you how to script it as well. It's really, really simple. All you do is right here, you type collider dot is trigger equals true. And it should just stop it. Perfect. Or even you could just destroy the collider. So destroy collider. If that doesn't work, we might have to use get component. So quickly before I just play it again to shorten down the tutorial, you don't want to put it here, put it after it. So after it comes on, it'll run this, they'll all stop bouncing each other, the person will fall down, then it'll stop it. Otherwise, it'll, they'll just stand there and it'll look weird. And also, for the errors we get every time we run it, we put a land enemy AI on our car, so just remove it, and it should stop perfect. So we go back in, shoot them, and they should fall over. Hopefully. So we shoot, die, 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 die. And you can see, they just stopped again. There is no animation, so we tried to call an animation that time, so we need to go and fix that error. Last time we left it with a lot of errors, but when it needed to be done. So the error we got here is basically saying it cannot find animation on this component. Well, game object. Well, it's because it's not there, we moved it to entity where it should be. So we need to tell it to go where it needs to be. So it's on line 500, well not that one, 179, because we don't have some, that one. So 179, it's calling this one. Perfect. So we type, because we need to get entity instead. So we type this, in fact, we'll type game transform dot find entity, because transform dot find will find inside of itself entity. So then we speech mark dot animation dot play. So it should perform it and we have to do the same for this if not we might have to use game object but we have a look now so we go on and we'll, we'll either get an animation or we'll actually there we go so we got rigid ragdoll so as you can see they just stand there now perfect obviously we need the fire will disintegrate and we need it to stay with them and everything but it doesn't matter it works so hopefully we can get something new implemented to it before the end of this tutorial but it doesn't seem to be wanting to do animation so one last try, if I can't find it, we'll just skip straight to the new things. So kill her, kill her, kill her. Die, 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 die. Animation. Missed it. Come on. There we go. So it's still nothing, but as you can see, we get funny physics effects, but it's still good. So hey, there, she's dead. And we get far enough away, she'll disappear too. So, so the new thing we're going to work on is we're going to actually make the civilian, or whoever it is, when you're friendly with them, or best friends, we're going to just go work on the friendly one for now, is they'll stand there, say something to you, we haven't got the speech file yet, but I'll get one soon, and then they'll just follow you with look at thing. So we're going to go to our en land enemy AI, and we've got here, hate, um, un unknown, and friendly. So under friendly, just in here, we're going to type rigid body dot velocity equals vector Three dot zero. So that'll stop on moving, they'll be stood completely still. And then below this we'll type transform dot look at and then we'll, in here we'll simply type uh, game object dot find character dot transform here. So what that should do is follow the character with their body. But it'll be glitchy like it always is, we always always know it is. So we're gonna add a little feature to it to stop it glitching, hopefully. So hopefully it might not glitch, if it doesn't, hey, it's even better. So what we will do one day is make the head look at you. But as you can see, there's the glitch. And we need to stop that glitch. So if we think about it, they only need to rotate on the Y axis. We all know that. So if we go and get the NPCs, civilian, they only need to rotate like that. They don't need to rotate X, Y, well, they only need to rotate on the Y axis. That's all we need to know. So below this, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm literally going to put eu le angles dot x equals zero. Because if you look at it, it currently is zero three sixty zero. So we'll duplicate it again and put z. So the two as x and z should not be affected at all. And if it is, it'll be microscopic and it should quickly change back. Hopefully, if not, we may have to play with the code a little bit more. So we run in, and you will see. Boom. Look at that. We've completely fixed the glitch. They will look at us now on the Y axis. It takes slightly more, well, it's, it's like microscopic processing power. But, hey, look at them. 
Now they'll follow us, we get out of range, and they'll just carry on with the business. As you can see. Then we go back in, they're like, hey, you, I know you. Perfect. But what we need is to really make them only look at us if we're getting close, otherwise it's a bit pointless. So what we're going to do is make them carry on. So it'll come down here and say if character is in range of them. Okay. But then we want to change it a little. So it'll come down here, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to copy this line here, so if that one. And we're going to paste it inside here. Friendly, and we'll put it in here. So if they're not in range, then they'll just carry on doing whatever. It doesn't matter. But then if they're in ma the field view, and then we'll put minus... Uh, in fact, we'll put divided by 2. And then we put all this in. So then, if that means if we're up real close to them. So we're getting quite close. Then hopefully, they should not do anything until we get even closer. So if we look at their field of view in MISC scripts uh, here, you should see it is 100. So when we get in range of 50, they should begin looking at us, because we don't want them to otherwise. So as you can see, they looked at us even earlier. So 50 might be quite far away, I don't know. Let's have a look. So we go back and just here we'll type print and then we want character.range.magnitude. And it'll tell us how far we are away from them. So if we are close to them, or if something is going wrong, we can see in the console down here. So if you watch that, as soon as we start, numbers will start ticking. And we'll see that it should equal to... Nothing, we've done it wrong. So as you can see, 45. So it's not doing it correctly. So what we're going to do, instead of saying um, divided by 2, we're gonna, just going to put, if it's less than... 15. So that means if we're really, really close to them, then they should just stop and carry on. Otherwise, they'll keep walking and just walking until we get really close, hopefully. So we begin to walk up when it loads, and you will see by now they would have stopped and looked at us. So it's working. Then we go up, and you can see they're looking at us. They're like, hey, you, I know you. Then we come away, and then they'll just stand there for a minute, like, what the hell? But we need to make them actually carry on. There you go. So we go up close. They look to us. We get f more than 15 away. More than 50 away, they'll carry on. So it gives them a little, I don't know, weirdness. We'll have to change it eventually. But that's all we're going to do. Quick, basic thing. You can also do it for best friend, but I'm not going to. Um, I apologise for the tutorials being so late lately i have had personal problems and it's not been working very well for me but back in business hopefully um yeah everything should be up to date with this tutorial hopefully so thank you for watching i really hope you liked it if not hit the dislike button but please tell me why thumbs up share it do whatever with it and see you next time